2K Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hi Luke, I'm pleased to be covering this featured group. We've got a fresh rivalry developing between these two players as well, so that should provide some great entertainment to the spectators this week. Well Henny, it sounds like this player's going for gold. They're trying to beat Xander Shoffley. I wouldn't want to try and beat an Olympian. A gold medal winning Olympian with hair as good as Xander Shoffley and a swing as good as Xander Shoffley? No. No, thank you. I'll leave this up to them. Yes, I'm just looking through his list of weaknesses and let me just list them off now. Yep, none. Good luck to you. Well, that's a handy shot. Rich, a little bit of undulation change here at the opening hole. The ball will be below the player's feet on this approach to the first green, so they need to take that into consideration. You might want to play for a little bit of a slice shot. Going with the eight iron here. That's inside the house of opportunity. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Ouch, that hurts. Big putt for par coming up. Well, that's a no fuss par to get the round underway, Rich. Nothing wrong with an opening par, just easing their way into this round. He finds himself in a share of 13th. And as we head to the second tee, the first of the par fives, and as we talked about, you've got to get off to a great start at Pebble Beach. Absolutely, a par five that almost every player should be able to reach into. Just avoid the bunkers right and left, and you're going to have a clean shot into a very narrow green. Lovely effort, that. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Setting up here from about 195 yards. Opting for the hybrid, I think. This is looking pretty good in the air. Okay, that'll work. And this is one of those lengthy putts. Good one just to get close. Well, that's a bit disappointing. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. Oh, that's a ripper. Currently one under for the tournament. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. That's some good golf right there. 
Well, with a pocket full of FedEx Cup points over the last half a dozen starts or so, this player certainly has been delivering consistent results and pushing for wins or winning, Rich. Do you expect that to continue here this week? Luke, absolutely. Week in and week out, this player has consistently performed at the highest level. i got to believe he's a lot of people's favorites to win this tournament. Yeah, a quality shot from him. He'll be pleased. We need something special to happen to get the birdie here. And he's down there. You got a read? Straight back up this hill. Can be firm here. Oh, that's too bad. Wanted to get it up to the hole, but was just unable to up that slope. Now heading over to Xander Shoffley. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Well, that's a beautiful bunker shot there. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. Rich, we get our first look at the beach here at Pebble Beach. This fourth is a short one, but beguiling. It is just around the 325-yard mark. Most players tend to lay up and just have a wedge for their second. However, the big sticks, they can go ahead and take a rip at it. But beware, the beach lurks closely down the right-hand side. That's a bit out of shape. Xander Shoffley, delightful player out of San Diego, California. He's got that cool vibe about him. Came out one early a few times. Uh, but then he seems to have struggled to find that next step, hasn't he? He's, he's sort of golf's almost man, except when he got that gold medal put around his neck. I think that took his confidence to a place where it should have been in the first place, Luke. I think that this young man, he's got no weaknesses very little weaknesses if anything in the game i look at him and think why hasn't he won more well the problem is is that he's put himself in contention so many times that there's only one person in the game that has won at a clip that he could have and that's tiger woods when you put yourself into contention as often as he does you're just not always going to win. Somebody is going to come from, from back in the pack, shoot a great round, uh, and you might struggle just a little bit, whatever the case. But, yes, he hasn't closed as many tournaments as he would have liked, but he is there each and every week. I, I got to say, this kid is hes a world beater. He's going to be phenomenal. Oh, that's a great approach shot. We'll now move over to Xander Shoffley. He's got some work to do, but he's only one back from his rival. Terrific shot. Who could have thought you'd hold it? OK, let's get back to the action. This butt to move into a share of second place. That's tracking. That's a lovely putt to make for Birdie. Take some pride in that one. And that will take him to two under. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. The sixth hole here, Richard Pebble Beach, is a tale of two halves, isn't it? A strong tee shot down the hill towards the ocean, and then the second, the approach shot back up the hill. There's no doubt about it, Luke. This is just a spectacular par five. The beauty of it, though, is that you can mess it up in a hurry. This is a very difficult par five. Don't make any bones about it. from around 220 yards. Just one stroke off the lead. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Oops, this one's headed for the rough. I know it hasn't come up exactly how they imagine in their mind, Rich, but you've got to like that play. What's well, a strange miss there. Look, they've been hitting the greens all day long. How close was that to going down? Mm. 
This putt will move them to three under par. This for a birdie birdie run. Go to your home ball. Go to your home. That's a long range bomb and with it puts extra strain on the person chasing behind them. Well, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. They got their putting boots on here. Look at how this ball rolls end to end. Thing of beauty. And now at three under overall. We head across to the par three seventh. We always talk about it in golf. It doesn't need to be a long one to be a great one. Luke, this could be one of the most picturesque par threes in all of golf. Who says great par threes need to be more than 150 yards? Not a single one of them. I love this hole. Well, good shot then right inside the range this putt right on 12 feet to the hole little birdie look in here oh gee that line was looking good wasn't it three feet to go here to the hole in she goes let's head to the next now heading over to Xander Shoffley He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Well, after the beauty of the seventh, we go to the beast that is the eighth. Is there a tougher two shot on the property? Not to my knowledge, no. At just around 425 yards, you're going to lay up to the end of the fairway. No driver needed. But the second shot is where it gets difficult. Downhill, a very small green. You knock it on here in two, and you've done well. Well struck. Second shot here on the eighth. Going with the seven. This one's got eyes for the flag stick. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. A great shot here at the eighth and a chance for birdie. A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. This looks like it's got the speed and the line. And that's their fourth birdie of the day. And that will take him to four under. Still in the lead now after that hole. Pebble Beach has a terrific stretch of par four, starting from the eighth right through to the end of the 11th. Let's take a look at the ninth. This is an interesting hole because it wants to make you aim left, but there's a bunker there that you need to avoid. Funny enough, there's a lot more room out to the right than what you can see off the tee. A very strong par four to finish the front nine. John, what's going on out there? Hey guys, we're checking in with Colin Morikawa as he gets set for his next shot here on the 10th. Well, I like that strike. This one's hitting well towards the green. And that shot goes in. That'll be a birdie. And that'll promote a good move up the standings. And what are we looking at here, Henny? I'd say he's about 165 from this flag.
looks to have opted for the eight iron. I don't know if they meant to do that. Wow, they really put on a show with that approach shot and their rival, Xander Shoffley, appears to be taking notice as well. Lining up the birdie putt here. That was a gallant attempt. There's part of about six feet coming up. Oh, Rich, is there anything more disappointing setting up what you'd think is a makeable birdie putt, but unfortunately not able to convert? Don't know about you, Rich, but I'm getting my palms sweaty in the booth just thinking about this player's position with nine to play. Well, keep your hands to yourself, but yes, this player is definitely dialed in at the moment. And as we continue alongside the beach, the coastline here, it is a spectacular scene, the 10th, isn't it? It certainly is. I don't know if I love any hole more at Pebble Beach than this one right here. You want to aim down the left-hand side, but avoid those big bunkers. And from there, you want to try and land it short of the screen and bounce it on. Anything landing on the green, though, could go shooting over the green and into a nasty spot. Oh, that's a high caliber shot sitting at four under for the day currently in the lead Just a little off with the accuracy there. Unable to find the green. Not taking enough club to get it there. And here we are with their fourth. Currently in the lead by a shot. Time for the fifth shot. That's certainly a shot saver there, Rich. Out of the rough, into the hole. Thank you very much. Why not take another look at that effort? Yeah, Seve would be envious of this one. What a chip in. move over to Xander Shoffley. He's one stroke behind his rival in this event. Oh, that is simply brilliant. What a shot. And now this is why you can never get comfortable, even if you're leading a PGA Tour Pro. This is what they do. They mean business. Well, Rich, we start to head home, but first we've got to head up the hill on this short par 4-11th. Thankfully, a breather hole after the last few. This is just a three wood. Could be a driver up the hill. Second shot, very short. But beware, this green pitches severely from back to front. Watch the spin on your second shot. Handy effort, that one. Well, this one's right at the pin. Well, that's beautifully judged. Nearly doesn't get any better than that. Amazing shot. Butting for birdie. Not a bad line, this. And with that, 
they'll move back into top spot on the leaderboard. The first of the back nine par threes is the 12th. And this is a mean one, not gonna lie, it's mean. It's right around 185 yards, but the green, once again, very tiny. You come up short in that deep bunker, you're bound to make a four. Looks to be going with the five iron. Looks like this one might be in the bunker. A little off the mark on that approach shot. Missing it short there. They will definitely be upset. That's on the green, but still a fair way from the hole. A par putter waits. Nice stroke. Oh, so close. This putt's about four feet from the hole. Try and keep that scorecard a little less dirty. This is for bogey. Now heading over to Xander Shoffley. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Well played. What an outstanding bunker shot. What a play. Great shot. Nicely done. Rich, let's head to the 13th tee at Pebble Beach, shall we? And uh, what's the decision off the tee? Aim it right, just shy of those bunkers down the right-hand side, and you've got a mid-iron for your second shot back up the hill. Again, a green that pitches severely from back to front as well as right to left. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. And what's in front of them there, Henny? He's got, I'd say, a solid 145 here. Going with the 9-iron, I think. He's got this thing dialed in here, looking good. Well, that's a great shot. It sets up a birdie look here at the 13th. This putt just five feet away from the hole. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. And that's a great way to forget about that bogey on the last. And with that, he'll move to four under par. We'll now move over to Xander Shoffley. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. OK, steady now. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. As we head to the 14th, I know the 18th gets all the attention here at Pebble Beach, but this is a strong par five. Oh, this is a good one. I love this par five. Just hit it just down the left-hand side. You can't reach the far bunkers down the left. Lay up with a long iron, maybe a fairway wood, but watch out. This third shot gets awfully tricky. Four victories so far this season. That's a good looking shot there. 
And here we are with the third shot. He leads the field by a stroke. Oh, that was pure. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Nice line. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. And I like it. Two in a row. Checking the standings now, and they're currently tied for first with multiple major champion Colin Morikawa. Just a couple more inland holes before we head back to the ocean, Rich, the 15th. Hitting it anywhere down the left-hand side off the tee will find one of those deep bunkers, so you need to avoid those. Hit it out to the right, which will leave a great second shot into this green. Yeah, this is a quality-looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Few players in the history of the game have had a bigger impact so early in their career than Colin Morikara, Rich. Uh, some comparisons go as close to Tiger Woods. As they should be currently right now with what he has done in the game so far in his young career. He's come out each and every week and put pressure on every single player because of his ball striking and because they know that there's no weaknesses in his game other than sometimes the putter, but when you hit it as good as he does, you're bound to make a putt now and again. And each and every week when he shows up, players on the driving range are looking at him going, okay, he's here, I gotta have my A game. Certainly feels like sky's the limit for Colin Morikawa. Two major championships under his belt right now, surely more in his future. This putt coming up is for birdie. Putt coming up here. The putt drops now at five under, heading down the stretch. Ooh, this is getting fun, isn't it? Rich the 16th, not a long par four, but really requires some accuracy on approach. It does lay up to the top of the hill, and you can look down on this green, which pitches severely from right to left. Just a wonderful short par four. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? Well, 18 footer here is what he's facing. <laughs> Bit too heavy handed there. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. This is what they have left for par here. It's on a good line. Oh, that's a clutch par. And after that hole, this player is currently tied at the top of the leaderboard alongside the ever-present Colin Morikawa. Let's head to seven. One of the most famous par threes in all of golf, Rich. Yes, just over 175 yards on the cart. It's a tail of two greens. When the pin is up front right, it's a birdie opportunity. Back left, find the green, make your three, and sprint to the 18th tee box.
Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Oh, this would be handy if we could bounce right. Gee, I think they've got the handle of this game, Rich. Fairways and greens. Another green in regulation. This is an absolute clinic. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. And that will take him to six under. Now heading over to Xander Shoffley. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Oh, my. How about that for a par? What an amazing play out of the greenside bunker. Up and in the hole. Nicely done. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Well, Rich, as we find our way to the 18th tee, few holes in golf capture the imagination more than the finishing hole here at Pebble Beach. So much history on this hole. Aim it at the trees right in the center and hope you don't get unlucky and get underneath one of them. From there, it's going to be a layup out to the right and just a short third shot. What a wonderful, wonderful finishing hole. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Playing this shot from about 230 yards out. Currently in the lead by a shot. Going with a three wood here. Hope it gets a good kick to the left. Yeah, this is the stuff we love, getting after this par five in two. Using the big muscles to get it home in two there. This is always a good moment. A putt to win the tournament. Just didn't drop. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Hopefully they won't take that too badly. There's another... Well, you can start etching that name into the wall of champions. Forever etched in history here at Pebble Beach. AT&T Pro-Am champion. Well played. And no better feeling, Luke, than to win on this classic layout. Pebble Beach Golf Links. A victory they will surely remember for the rest of their days. And Rich, I think you mentioned earlier that this player was your favorite. Well picked. Listen, I, it's not a hard pick, is it? This player has consistently been there all season long. There's no reason why not to pick them to win. They just make me look smart. That's about it. Well, that's all we've got time for today. On behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, Rich Bean, Henny Koyak, and John McCarthy, plus all the hardworking folks behind the action at 2K Sports, thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time.